What's going on, everybody? First of all, I want to say congratulations to Russell Westbrook and him winning the NBA MVP because that's not an easy feat to do. Um, I want to just talk about some of the things that uh, a lot of people have been asking me as far as Oklahoma City Thunder's uh, future with uh, Russell Westbrook and uh, how far do I think they can go uh, with him as a shoot first point guard. And um, pretty much, I've watched, I've, I've been watching basketball for a while. Uh, football is my major sport. That, that's really what I'm inside and out about. But when it comes to basketball, it's pretty simple. There's certain type of players that you know are going to win championships. And then there's certain type of players that you know are not going to win, but going to have unbelievable attributes and unbelievable successes individually. And Russell Westbrook is going to be just that, unless he decides to change his play style. Um, Allen Iverson, in my opinion, um, I watched him you know, come into the league and be just unbelievable. But watching him play and understanding, no matter how good he was at six foot, uh, nothing, I guess he was, um, unbelievable, you know, dribble, handle, everything like that. Even though the Philadelphia 76er team that he was a part of, was, they, they sucked. We got to be honest about it. I think he deserves a lot of credit for winning one game against the Lakers in that final. Um, you know, against Shaq and Kobe Nolan boys, because that was all him on his back. Uh, his team absolutely sucked. They were horrible. Um, I hated watching them play because um, they, 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 they just sucked. They they. I don't know. Like like I said, it's similar to how LeBron James went to the finals against the Spurs um, and the rest of his team was just god-awful. That's how bad the 76ers team was that Allen Iverson uh, was a part of. But Allen Iverson was a great player. He just didn't understand that he needed to get his teammates involved a little bit more. Similar to, uh, to Russell Westbrook. Now, with, with with Westbrook, Westbrook is a little bit more... If he just had a couple more inches on him, he would probably, probably be the most unstoppable force in the NBA. 6'2", uh, 6'3", six, six, is not going to be enough to get it done in most cases, but he's an electrifying player. I love watching him play. This dude, and even with his speech, how emotional it was, you know, for everything. When you come, when people don't believe in you, and you believe in yourself enough, you know, just enough. Like someday we're going to all have our bad days. But when you believe in yourself just enough to make sure that every day you can look forward to knowing you can get better and you finally get it done, it's nothing that nobody can tell you. Right now, this boy is on cloud nine. Like, listen, I'm going tell you right now. I, if I'm him, I'm like, yo, F everybody else. You're not really thinking about anything else right now. But the whole objective of this is that you have to understand when you're the leader of a team, you're responsible for getting everybody else involved, making everybody else better. And, you know, we saw it several times throughout the year that this man will just keep shooting the ball. He don't give a F. But you see, the thing about it is people are like, yeah, but Michael Jordan did the same thing. You can't compare him to Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's the greatest player to ever play the game. You can't compare Russell Westbrook. As great as he was last season, averaging a triple-double, all that stuff, you can't ever do that. Um, and Michael Jordan also had better talent around him. So when he wasn't really up to par, you know, you had Pippen, you had other guys around him that could get it done. Russell Westbrook has no help. And I know it probably comes off as offensive to the other individuals that are on the team. I don't care. I watch the games. You guys suck. If, you got, if any of you guys are watching the video and you're on the uh, Oklahoma City Thunder and you're alongside Westbrook, you suck. He deserves more for NBA players. You guys didn't do enough. You guys supposed to definitely beat the Rockets in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? But you guys didn't come up. You, you, you did. It's all on him. So he feels that he has to shoot the ball every time. He feels he has to do all those things. And that, that's going to wear you down. It's going to definitely wear you down when you have to do every single thing. So what I'm saying is, with his play style of just being overly aggressive, always having to be the guy to score, having to do all... He, you're not going to win like that. You're not going to win 6'2", 6'3", uh, point guard, score first. We've seen it over and over again. You can't do it. It's not going to happen. So unless that changes, I don't really see a lot coming out, you know, you know, from, from this point forward as far as championship goes. I think he's going to make a lot of money in the league because I think he, he's one of the most exciting players to watch in the league, hands down. You know, whenever I'm getting something local to watch, um, you know, an OKC game through, throughout the season, I love watching Russell Westbrook play. Very, very fast, electric, monster of a player. I have nothing bad to say about what he is. It's just what he does on the court. It's not going to amount to a championship. Now, you had Kevin Durant on the team. Kevin Durant said, you know what? I got to go someplace else where they share the ball. I don't think you're going to replace Kevin Durant for the rest of this guy's career. 
So you got the Warriors for another couple of years. They're probably going to be, you know, in the finals. We don't know what's going to be happening in the East. We'll see what happened with the Cavs. But why, right now you're playing in the West. You're not beating the Warriors for the next two years. So we know that that's out the way. And then we just got to figure out what happens after that. But you had a chance. But due to his play style, it, it just it, it didn't work. It didn't work for Kevin Durant, and I, like I said, I congratulate Kevin Durant because he became an unbelievable player with the Warriors. He be, he was better than he was with the OKC Thunder. So that says something about Westbrook. That's not something that we could just throw under the rug. I'm just being honest about it. I love what the guy does, but you're going to have to change up your style. And if you don't, you'll just be a guy with all these stats and all these awards. You'll be a Charles Barkley. That's pretty much what's going to happen. Because it's no way. And I know that the Warriors team is constructed pretty unfair for everybody in the league right now. But you can still be a different player. You can still be somebody that tries to change the game and get your teammates involved. And everybody can be LeBron James, but he needs some tips. Because unless he can do that, the OKC Thunder, man, you're just going to be you, you're going through the motions. You're pretty much going through the motions. But like I said, it's kind of bittersweet for the fans. But congratulations to this man because a lot of people didn't believe he would ever make it to this level. Until next time, one love.